Hello everyone. This is Ujwal Gandhi from SpatialThoughts.com. This is a Python tutorial on how to use pandas and geopandas to extract a subset from a shapefile. We'll take a fairly large shapefile containing parcel data. And the idea is if you are given a list of parcels in a spreadsheet and you want to extract the, ID, the parcels matching those IDs from the shapefile and save it to another shapefile, how would you do that using geopandas? I'll also cover some techniques on how to work with zip files in Python. So let's get started. We will use Google Colab for this tutorial. Uh, the link to the notebook is given in the description. Here, I'm going to run through the, the setup and then I'm going to code live and explain each step of the way. So here, we'll start with uh, two files, uh, one a zip file, which is a zipped shape file uh, called SF parcels, which contains all the parcel polygons for the city of San Francisco. And we have an Excel file containing a list of parcel IDs that we want to export. Uh, let me show you how the data looks in QGIS so you can get a visual understanding of what the data is like. So this is how our data layer looks like. It's a fairly large data layer. So I'm going to just see and there are about over 200,000 features. And these are each uh, pol parcel polygons for the city of San Francisco. Uh, if I open the attribute table, it's going to be, again, quite large. We have uh, multiple columns. Uh, there's one column called BLKLOT, which cons uh, consists of a unique parcel ID. So you can see this, there are multiple attributes. Uh, this is a column that contains a unique parcel ID. Along with that, we have uh, spreadsheets. I'm gonna show you this Excel spreadsheet. And you can see this is an Excel spreadsheet where uh, you are handed over this spreadsheet and say, hey, we have maybe it's this 89 parcels uh, that we want to extract and save it as a shapefile. Uh, this can be quite tedious process if you want to do it in a GIS environment, but uh, using Python, you can automate this quite easily. I've heard from multiple people that they have a similar workflow where they have they get handed over a certain list of IDs or uh, attributes that they need to export from a database. And this tutorial will show you how to use Python to automate that workflow. So here, uh, so we're going to start with the tutorial. Uh, we can run the collab cell. The first time you run it, you're going to get a warning. You can just say run it anyway. Uh, as you click uh, run, you're going to, uh, the first time it's going to connect to a virtual machine. Uh, the way collab works is you get allotted a virtual machine in Google Cloud, uh, which has all the Python libraries installed. Uh, I like collab for this kind of tutorials, even kind of quick. Uh, work where I don't need to set up environment and you can just open a web browser, go to collab.resource.google.com and you can start working with Python. So you can see now we've been allotted a machine and we can now run our code. So the first step is collab environment comes installed with certain libraries, but uh, we want to use GeoPanda, which is not built in. So we have to install, you can run uh, pip install geopandas. Uh, geopandas also need certain other libraries to be installed. So we just run this cell, which is going to install geopandas on that virtual machine that uh, we are working with. Remember that uh, once you close this tab, uh, the machine will get recycled. The next time you run this notebook, you will get a new machine. So we need to do the setup uh, every time. Uh, once it's installed, we're going to uh, do our imports. We're going to mainly work with pandas and geopandas. And since our data comes as a zipped file, we're going to also use the built-in zip file module to unzip and then zip the results. I typically like to uh, keep my data organized. So I generally work with a subfolder for data. Even if I'm running this on my own machine, I'll create a subfolder where I put all my data and then whatever outputs I generate, I go to make it go into another folder. This just helps you keep organized. So we're gonna name our data folder as data and output folder as output. And we're gonna create those on the machine. You can actually check this uh, folders here. If I click this file icon, I can see now I have data folder and an output folder. Currently, they are both empty. Uh, if you want to uh, use some data in this Colab notebook, you can actually upload it to this folder here and use it. Uh, here, we're going to run this cell, which is going to fetch some data that I've already put in my GitHub repository. So this copy over uh, into the data folder. So once it's done, if I open my data folder, you'll see that I have this two 
uh, files here, the sfparsers.zip and the parsers to export XLS file. All right, so now let's start with our tutorial. I'm gonna start coding now. So the first step is we want to uh, take this uh, SF parsers data, unzip it, and then read the shape file. So let's uh, start. I'm gonna first define a path. So I'm gonna do uh, define a variable file, this file path. And I like to use os.path.join to construct my path. So we have our data folder, which is this variable, uh, which is this data right now. And we're going to uh, say my file name is sfparsels.zip. And this is just going to give us uh, a path. And you can see now my path is a relative path from the current uh, where I'm writing my notebook to the subfolder called data and uh, parses.zip. Now we want to unzip it. Uh, GeoPandas can actually read this zip file directly, but in my testing, I find that uh, just unzipping and reading the shape file is much, much faster than reading the shape file. So let's just unzip this file. Uh, Python comes with a built-in module called zip file, which allows you to work with zip file. So let's open this file using the zip file module. So we'll just say with zip file dot zip file and say open this uh, path with the zip file module and uh, we're going to uh, store it in a variable called zf, zf zip file. And now when we have the zf variable, which is the pointer to the zip file, we can do something with it. Right now we're just going to say uh, zf dot extract all. So this will just extract all the files and we give the folder name where we want it to, to be unzipped, which is going to be the data folder. Okay, I'm going to run this cell. And here we are using the with command. That means once the file is opened, as soon as this block gets executed and uh, the code comes out of the, the with uh, statement, it's going to close the file automatically. This is the preferred way to work with files in Python. So you can see now my file is unzipped here. I have the S shape file along with all the sidecar files, which I can use. So now we'll uh, just say my parcel shape file path is in my data folder and my file is called sf underscore parcels dot shp. So this is the file to the shape file. And now we can just read it using GeoPandas. So we'll just say parcels GDF uh, will be gpd dot read file. So read file is the method on GeoPandas, which allows you to open a file. Uh, we can just give the path to the shape file and it's going to open this file. And once the file is read, it's going to be saved as a geodata frame in this variable parcel CDF. Uh, this being a fairly large, uh, the total, the unzipped size of this file is more than a gigabyte. So it's going to take a minute or so for it to be read into the RAM. And uh, once it's stored, I'm going to show you what that uh, geodata frame looks like. All right, the file has been read. Let's take a look. I'm just going to type the variable name and run the cell, which is going to display the geodata frame. Uh, as you can see, this one uh, is uh, has about 226,000 rows and 23 columns. We can take a look at the data. We have the different columns. This is the column of interest. This contains the unique IDs, and we have a bunch of other columns. All right, so we have a geodata frame. Uh, let's read the Excel file. So we're going to uh, get a variable export file path, and this is also going to be in my data folder and name of the file is parcels to export dot xlss okay. and now we're going to read this using pandas so we'll name our variable export df equals to pd dot read excel so pandas has different functions to read different types of data so if you want to read excel files you can use read excel and then we'll give it the part okay. let's read this and it's uh uh, successful. In case you get the error by running the cell in your machine, uh, you have to install this under package called OpenPyXL, which is the package that allows pandas to read Excel files. Okay, let's take a look at this data frame. 
This is just a, a small uh, data frame of 89 rows. We have the BLK lot column. And the idea is now we want to read this IDs and extract those from a shapefile and save it as another layer. So first we need to create a list of the IDs that we want. Uh, we'll take our data frame and we say we want this column BLK lot. And this uh, will just give you a series, a Panda series uh, for this one column. And you can call dot values on any series to get the list of uh, uh, the values in that series. So here we have the list of all BLK lot contained in this uh, data frame, and we can just save it as a variable called ID list. So we have a list of IDs, and now we can use this to say, take this parses DDF and check uh, if each row, uh, the BLK lot value contains any items from that list. If so, you select that. If not, you drop that. So we can use the uh, pandas selection methods. And there's a method called is in, which allows you to uh, select uh, items from a list. So let's do this. We'll just take our parcels GDF and we'll run a query saying parcels GDF of BLK lot is in. So this is the main function that we're going to use and it's the ID list. Yeah. Let me just run this. This is going to give you a series. Uh, right, there's no underscore here. So this will give you a series where it's going to match each row uh, against this, and we're going to get the uh, the 89 rows extracted. So now this is the full uh, geodata frame where the subset match this. And I'm just going to save the result to be subset GDF. So that's it. This was the main command for this tutorial where we can query the items from a geodata frame from a list of values. And now all that is left is to save this to a file. So let's just define our output variable. We're just gonna say output file is gonna be called subset.shp and we're gonna uh, create the output path using os.path.join. We have the output folder and we're gonna construct this path. So the output path will be output slash subset dot SHP. You can just define it as a string, but as a good practice, I always like to use os.path.join because the path separator will be different if you're running this on Windows versus Linux. And nowadays you typically write code on one machine, it's running on uh, a server or any other machine. So just uh, to make it compatible, it's always a good practice to use os.path.join. And now we're gonna just say subset GDF, to file. This is the GeoPandas function to save the file. And we're going to just say, save it to the output path. And we can now check the output folder. And it contains a shape file called subset.shapefile along with all the, the sidecar files containing those 89 polygons that we extracted out of our data set. Uh, if somebody sent you the zip file and they are expecting a zip file back, let's see how we can take all the four sidecar files that uh, consist of a shape file, zip them together so we can share that easily. Uh, again, we're gonna use the built-in zip file module for this. I'm gonna create uh, the name of the output zip to be subset.zip. And we're gonna construct a path the output folder and zip. Okay, and now we're going to use the same uh, zip file function. It'll say zip file dot zip file. And we're going to open this output zip path. Remember this doesn't exist yet. Uh, we need to write in this file. So we're going to open this in write mode. If you don't specify, it's going to be open in read mode and it's going to give an error so this file doesn't exist. And we need to open it as some variable name. So we're going to just use a variable name output ZF. Okay. 
So now we open this zip file and this is a zip archive. We can add files to it. So we want to add these four files uh, with each other extension. So I will just write a for loop and say for ext in this four different extension dot shp dot shx dot dbf and dot prj. Uh, you can't call yourself a geospatial data scientist without knowing the shapefile extension by heart. Again, shapefiles have many, many extensions and many, many sidecar files. These are the four main ones that are required for a shapefile to be valid. So we're going to take this and say for each of this, uh, the file name is our going to be subset plus extension. So it'll be subset.shp, subset.shx, and so on. And then the file path will be so path.join and we're going to be the, it's currently in the output folder and the file name. Okay, so this is the file path that we want to add it to the zip archive. So we'll just take our out variable output zf dot write. And we're going to say write this file path. And it's going to create a zip file with all the four files inside. Uh, this works, but there's only one problem. Since we are adding a file that is inside a folder, when you unzip it, you're going to get another folder called output and the files are going to be inside of that. So if you don't want that, we just want a zip file where we unzip, we just get our four files. You can specify one more parameter to this write function called arc name. Uh, and we're just going to give the file name. That is just put the file, uh, the path to the uh, file is this file name. So don't create a subfolder, just write it uh, in the single uh, archive. So once this runs, you're going to see uh, we get a new zip file. It's going to download this. So this, if I unzip it, you'll see that this one is now uh, what we created using our Colab notebook in Python. And this is called the four uh, sub files inside. Let's just look at the results in QGIS. So this was our original parcels data. We were given an Excel file with 89 parcels that we had to extract. Uh, we built our script and when we extracted the data, this is what we got. So let's zoom in there. And these are the 89 parcels that we were able to extract out of the entire database. And you can send it to whoever sent you this Excel file and they'll be very happy that you got them the, the subset. Hope you, hope you enjoyed this video. If you end up using any of these techniques in your work, please do let me know. There are many more videos coming soon, which will help you incorporate various Python libraries in your geospatial workflow. Thank you.